What's up all you lovely learners out there in learning land? Tyler from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with another guitar tutorial like we do every single Monday. Today we're getting a little Latino. One from the great Cheo Feliciano El Raton. A great groove. This is a great song. Some really cool chords. A lot of fun to play. As always, I'll have all the chords, licks, tabs on the screen, but you can get a printable version. As always, I'll have all the chords, licks, and lyrics on the screen, but you can get a printable version for this guitar lesson and all our guitar lessons by becoming a Patreon. Links in the notes and links below. All right, so why don't we go ahead and grab our guitar. Brain and attention span. Once you have those three things, follow me on in, and let's break this lesson down together. Come on in, let's do it. All right, so let's just jump into it. Um, the chords you're going to need, an A minor. And there's a little bridge where there's gonna do some bar chords, and I'll talk about that. But let's just get the bulk of this tune, because you kind of have like this really super long verse that goes into a chorus. So it's kind of like one verse, one chorus. But the verse is really long, and then the chorus is the rest of the song. A minor, C major. You're going to need a B minor seven flat fifth, which you, you probably don't know. Um, well, I don't. I, I hate to assume. Maybe some of you do. Maybe some of you don't. It's a cool sounding chord, and it's really pretty jazzy, uh, pretty salsa y, pretty Latin. You're gonna get your pointer finger on the second fret of the A string, ring finger on the third fret of the D string, middle finger on the second fret of the G string, and your pinky on the third fret of the B string. And then from there, you're going to go into an E7 chord, which is just an E major without your ring finger. All right, the riff. The riff sounds like this. Pretty basic, that's what the bass has got going on, but it sounds great when you mix it with the guitar. And it starts on the and after the third beat. So it's like and, four, and. Open E string, second fret, fourth fret, and four, and one. And then one is gonna be the open A string because you're going to your A minor chord, so. Right after you pluck that open A string with these three fingers, you're going to pluck up on the D, G, and B string while you're making this A minor chord. And four, and one, and two. Two is gonna be a mute, because when you mute, you're gonna to switch to your C string and play on the off beat. And four, and one, and two, and three, four. Let it ring, and then you'll mute again on the four. And four, and one, and two, and three, four. Then you're gonna make your B minor seven flat five, Thumb on the first beat, one and, pluck up again, one and, two and, one and, two and on the E7, one and, two and, okay? So we get up to there, and, four and, one and, two and, three. One and two and three, four. A little quicker. And that's where it turns over again, right? So you get one and two and three and four and one. So that whole circle. Okay, so that's the groove throughout the verse. Once the verse. Okay, so that is the entire verse, and then you get this little pre chorus that goes. The new chords, I'm using a new shape of A minor. You could use the old one if you want, barring the fifth fret, seventh fret of the A and the D string. F chord, barring the first fret, third fret of the A and the D string with your middle finger on the second fret of the G string, and then E or E7. And it goes one and two, three, four, one. One and two, three, four, one, 
two, three, four. Okay? One and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then you get to the chorus. The chorus is going to be a little different. We're going to com combine finger plucking and strumming. So what I'm going to do is get to the A minor and I'm going to go thumb on the first beat, fingers on the second, one and two and. And that's all like this finger plucking. Like with the C, I'm using my thumb and my fingers, A, D, G, and B strings at the same time. So we get one and two and three. But then I give an up strum on the and, and then four. One and two and three and 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 four. And that is the chorus. So why don't we put all those pieces together now? Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. El Raton from Cheo Feliciano. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next Monday for our next guitar lesson. Have a lovely week. Cool, everybody. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. We appreciate you here at 10thumbspro.com. Keep on rocking and rolling. Keep on loving in life. Remember, new guitar tutorials every single Monday. Um, thank you for the support. Skype Lessons 101 if you're interested. Email me 10thumbsproductions at gmail.com. Think about becoming a Patreon. Cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger, and it will accelerate your learning. And until next time, everybody, keep on rocking and rolling. Keep on loving life. Keep on playing that guitar. Take care of yourselves, and have a lovely day. Catch you next Monday.